Nice switch by Simon. Bibby got a hand in there to steal it. Davison takes off. No whistle. And McGlure retrieves for Kentucky. Great. Turner, jump shot. In and out. Tipped up by McGlure twice. And stripped away by Dickerson. McGlure was ready to go up for a third attempt. Bibby in traffic. Scores the game's first points. Terrific. McGlure very active on the offensive glass. Turner off balance for Kentucky's first two. Jim Turner is amazing inside the foul line. As hey. Here's the road to Jim in terms of how did they get there. And of course, those first two games, Arizona was behind by 10 in the second half in both of them. It was the largest margin of victory for Arizona was eight. Kentucky's average margin has been 14, with Iowa playing in the tightest, a six point win. Simon, turn around. Inside the zone, there's Davidson with that quick leaping ability. One of the best players in college basketball getting off the floor quickly. See how much that game Saturday against Minnesota took out of Kentucky. Epps with the three. And he said yesterday, I love shooting in domes. And he harkened back to last year playing up in Minneapolis. But Bibby firing back short. From behind, Bramlett reached in to pick his pocket. Simon pulls up and was hit on the arm by McGlure. And 20-point average in the tournament, but really has been hot in the last two with 30 in the regional final against Providence to win the MVP of the Southeast and 24 against Carolina Saturday. On the shot clock, Padgett left free for the three. Big mistake by Arizona that time. The one thing you cannot let Kentucky do is let Padgett spot up, Mills when he gets into the game spot up, now goes over, Simon open three. On board to Dickerson. Good blocking out by Kentucky. Way up high, Mercer had it for a moment. Out of bounds and the under 16 timeout has arrived. And Kentucky leads 8-6. Bramlett comes back, he's got to get the ball in the hands of a ball handler. Simon beats it off the dribble. Got to be careful from behind. Puts it up with a left hand and a block foul called against McClure, his second. He pointed out on Saturday, Lute Olsen is 4-0 in regional finals. Jared Prickett right there, 32, also checking in for the first time. The Iron Man from Kentucky. This is 143rd game. Padgett, same spot where he hit earlier. And here comes set up Arizona. Yeah, they break early. No problem with the press. Bramlett for two and a free throw. Now, that's what I was talking about before, Jim. Team speed in the NCAA tournament. Foul was on Padgett. Mercer's back in. So Aaron Jordan, A.J. Bramlett's three-point play puts Arizona up by three. Edwards for the baseline. Arizona ball. There again, the great quickness of Davison getting down on the baseline. Solid screen for Dickerson. Has it stripped away, though. Kentucky off and running. Bibby with the quick hands prevented a layup by Mercer. How about the speed of Davison to get down there to equalize the numbers when it looks... Rickett kicks it out. Mercer, his first basket of the night is a three to tie it. We've, at 11. We've seen twice where men have left. In that case, Mercer left by Dickerson. You cannot do that against Kentucky. You've been... The rest of this Arizona team that played a lot of minutes with wireless though. And there's Dickerson. He and trips on Patino after burying the three. And Rick calls a 20-second timeout for his own safety. Look at Kentucky from inside of the arc. Only one of ten. Mercer dumps it to Muhammad, make it two of eleven. Turn in deep in the corners against Kentucky. Simon splits the defenders beautifully. Nazi came out for a hedge move. Epps in the lane. And Donnell Harris. Nine rebounds on Saturday. Bibby, three-pointer. He hit six of them Saturday. He continues to sizzle. That was about guarantee if Terry's not going to let him breathe when he's beyond that three-point line. Muhammad turnaround. Henderson with position. 
Yep, tried to sprint the ball out. Mills gets it to go. Cameron Mills. And Turner gives it up. Mills. From three. Again. Cameron Mills. He is now in the tournament 16 of 22 from three. Arizona, why would you go double team on Turner and leave Mills open? That was a reactionary move by the Arizona defense, but they've got to remember who's in what white jersey. Turner puts Kentucky ahead by one. Simon. On the arm. To the line for two. Gould there in the fall of 66 after Jack Gardner had taken him to his second straight Final Four in the spring. Jack Gardner, the only man that's seen every Final Four game that we know of. Rickett. Oh, tough shot. Almost dropped for him. The man who needs eight points tonight in his 143rd game at Kentucky. Again, the all-time record, eight points for a 1,000. Played the first five games, then took the medical redshirt. That helped boost the career game number. Well, if there's any guy that wanted to get back to the Final Four after what he lost the opportunity last year, it'd be Jarrett. When they don't get the ball down so low, one of the reasons for it is Simon's such a great guy to catch the ball. Look at the soft roller. Simon now with nine points. A guy who's a great shooter, but not really be able to create his own shots. Simon creating again. Yeah, he'll go to the line for two more. Near the conclusion of every NCAA tournament game, we have been and we will continue to select a Chevrolet most valuable player of the game from. And when they came back, Arizona just didn't take off right away. It took a while to adjust with him in the lineup. And we study the family for a moment. His sister Sharice. Basket not fade away. There's no foul. Muhammad with the putback. The tie it at 24. Every time Kentucky doubles down, Arizona looks to go opposite. Mercer got him with the arm. He's incredulous, but the whistle. Well, this is their 11th attempt coming to Kentucky's only two. Six twenty-four, Arizona. Inside, Epps just couldn't get it. Cricket, Cricket. really wants it. Yeah, he got position, but help underneath, and Arizona bats it away. Lob, Davison able to keep it in play, trying to duplicate the Grant Hill play of ninety-one. Eight points. He can get a better play than that. Five. Muhammad put back again. The man from Chicago with six off the bench. Oh, Simon. And they're going to count the basket and send him to the line. Yes, they are, Jim. Good call. He hates breakouts. One of the things, the few times you'll really hear him scream in practice in a scrimmage is when a team gets a breakout in a scrimmage game. Muhammad doing a good job getting back, but too late. Coming off of those curl moves of his. He doesn't look quite as quick as he's been in the past. Mills, two. Two-point basket. One rolls a toe and on the other side of three. And Tim Higgins steps in and emphatically states it's a two. See whether he is right on the line with those feet. Yes, he is, without question. He's over the line by a good four or five inches. He did not score a point in the first four games of the year this year for Kentucky. Got the under four timeout. Cricket got free, and he'll go back to the line. That was an outstanding move by Prickett. He recognized what happened. Edgerson was going to try to hedge. Home, they're here tonight watching the championship game. One of them to get the full experience of the week. It Terry, open three, got it. The man who slept in his uniform last night, Jason Terry, started that ritual last week at the Southeast Regional. Before to sure that everybody in the locker room wants to be near him. Here's <laughs> Muhammad with two more. Having a great half. And again, by scoring, the press gets established. Kentucky by one. One minute to go in the half. Simon finds Edgerson open, who waits. And then got hit on the arm by Muhammad. Mills is down over here, Jim. Well, Arizona swim team won the championship. I said of the four major sports. Oh, no, football, basketball, three major sports. Football, basketball, and baseball. A lot of people have won other championships. 
Edgerson steps up and knocks them both down for a 39% free throw shooter. Well, Arizona is playing the three. Muhammad comes in from the side, and he had another chance. He's missed two short ones now. Looks like Simon wants to keep it the full route. He's down to seven seconds. Not a good move. Blocked. Cricket inbounds. Two seconds. Epps just flings it. And Arizona goes to the locker room with a one-point lead. Jim, I think it would have been smarter for Simon to give it to Bibby, let Bibby penetrate and come out to Simon. Blute also 30 games of the season. Here's Padgett, his favorite spot of mention. All there this time. They set well, up for a press. You don't see that often, Jim. You're talking about a very good outside shooter. That's a game within itself, watching those two chase each other around the floor. Mercer got three off the McGlure screen, and Kentucky moves ahead. That was his first field goal in over 15 minutes on the clock. Dickerson, Bramlett can follow. Blocked, blocked by McGlure. Kentucky getting great play out of their double centers. Not for a rest. Mills, Bramlett picked up his second a moment ago, and Edgerson picks up the board. Just a mini clinic by Lou Olson with his three front-line players. Bibby. Oh, he loves the he, second he, half. And he loves that side of the floor. About his opening game against North Carolina. Came up big, showed he was going to have a presence in the game. Mills, a two. Simon, good space. Good Great move play. by Miles Simon. Simon knew what he was going to do, Jim, before he caught the ball. He had his mind set up. It was an excellent offensive play. And he a is 20, 20 called by Kentucky. Mercer was right at 18 when Anderson went down, and he still at 18. Mercer! Oh, oh and that's going to be on the line. It's basket interference on McGlure. It was on the rim. I think it was on the way down, too. I think it was going to drop for a, for a basket. Now, here's a case where Mercer may be a little tired, Jim. He'd normally be way up above that rim on that putback. Full strength at the start of the year. Plus, it's a very young team, so it's come on strong. How about that move, guy? Good shot. Lute Olsen. How about that Special 20? kudos. There's yeah, a special 20-second timeout. You set up the play you want. Great coaching move. And you give them their biggest lead of the second half. They led it by six at one time in the first. It's now four. And off the steal, they're looking for more. Simon in traffic. Followed up by Harris. And there's the team speed. Harris, Edgerson, Davison, Bramlett. All their big guys can really fly. And just as my line was thinking, boom, here comes Turner in the game. Rick Pitino can't wait much longer. Mercer to Brickett. Good control of the ball by Brickett. Harris. In trouble. And Brickett tried to bounce it off his leg. Bigby in the right spot. That is the second time that Kentucky has created a turnover. Arizona's been able to then recapture the ball and score. Mercer got stuck. Oh. Muhammad. Wow. Right with two players draped on him. And a whistle. Very tough shot. He could have got a much better one than that, Jim, with that mismatch. Turner, Burner, and one. A terrific penetrator. Double up on Bramlett. Bramlett taking too much time to get the ball over. Davison underneath charge. Jim, for the first time, the Arizona players getting a little bit frustrated. A great job out there guarding against the perimeter jump shot. Yes, he's missed six in a row, but tipped up and in by Mercer. Very dangerous guy in the offensive glass. Lob this time, Davison retrieves. There's Turner with a great block. And Mercer comes out of the pack. Sensational block. That's one of the best leapers in college ball. Stolen back by Terry. To Simon, slicing in for two. 21 for Simon. Knowing that they're good jump shooters outside. Like Padgett. Oh. Mercer. How did it go? The shot of the night by Ron Mercer. He is just gutting it through tonight. He can give them the lead. Patino says he has the potential to be one of the greatest.
the only player who scored in last year's final for this Kentucky team that's on the floor tonight. He had 20 in the final against Syracuse. Good start. Simon rattles out into the arms of Harris, and he is hacked. Harris making some plays off the bench. So that's exactly what happened for Bibby, only it was a jump shot at that same basket Saturday. Wow, the two puts Arizona back in front by one. Executed well at all in the last four or five minutes. Mercer, three-pointer, chases it down. I thought he was out of bounds. Moved his feet pretty quick. Epps, boy, breaks a cold streak. The other end, Dickerson, never looking for a shot. Exactly. Harris left open to tie it with the jam. Baked down defensively by Kentucky. Gave up an easy basket there just when Arizona needed it. Padgett. Thought he would take it. Step in for two instead. And Kentucky 52-50. Hedgerson really not comfortable out there guarding the man that puts the ball on the floor. Simon over Bahamas. Always finds a way to help his team. Never looks tired. Mercer, Thompson, Padgett. Two in a row. That's a hard shot to make because Padgett realized that the last minute the man was coming from behind him. Still kept his composure. Terry, three-point shot. Oh, what a big one. Over Padgett. That was like an air ball, Jim. He had to put a little extra arch on it. Just Padgett has to shoot it. Brickett. Oh, oh Harris on the Harris. Back. Harris. Harris over the back. Harris pulls it down. Notice how Kentucky can test those rebounds. Foul on Kentucky. Curious guy sitting on the bench. Good change. Brickett committed the foul. And that will put him on the line one and one. If you go back and review the tapes of this game and you'll say, well, why didn't other teams do that against Kentucky? Throw the ball over the top and beat the press that way. The reason was they didn't have guys that were this quick to catch the ball. He's only averaging 12 points a game in the NCAA tournament, averaged over 19 a game during the regular season. And again, five games over 30, or a minimum of 30. All Pac-10 first team, but... Muhammad can't say enough about this night. Now, Bramlett is sitting. With five to go, you think Lute Olsen's got to bring him back now and take the chance. Fourth on Padgett. There's support, Sean Elliott. Well, in 90... In, in 88, when they lost to uh, Oklahoma, Elliott had a 31 and 11. Virginia Bibby, mother, saluting the two free throws that puts him back. Hatchet ties it. He's really becoming the player here to keep Kentucky in it. Here the court, Jim, really takes away that opportunity to steal it. Mercer. Terry right back with the pick. There's that team quickness again. Bibby open three in Arizona. 62-59. Jim, three times Kentucky has had the numbers and an opportunity to score. Arizona has intercepted the ball and been able to come right back and score themselves. Padgett looking for the tie. Oh, Scott Padgett, please. And you know what's happening? Nazi Muhammad is such a problem as Davison went in to help out. Davison, baseline, blocked by Turner. They got it back. And a foul from behind? Yes, it will be. On Muhammad. They had retired recently after 30 years. Moves Arizona the 65-62 advantage. Lute Olsen. Edgerson in. Really playing tough cards right now. With Side on Edgerson. Here's championship game at home on television. Now leads the team academically. Even made the Dean's list in the fall. And I'll tell you what, all kinds of lists he's making tonight. His parents certainly proud with the performance in the second half. Bibby in trouble. Edgerson ahead. They got three on one. Terry thinking about it. Edgerson on the floor. Stripped away. And Turner comes out with it.
Kentucky can take the lead back. These teams play for days, you know, they just are so evenly matched. Oh, it went in and out. Muhammad, Muhammad can't find it. And it rolls off the rim, he'll shoot two. Eckerson with his second personal. Kentucky's JV program, where he had an opportunity instead of sitting on the bench to go ahead and play in actual game conditions. Look at him, get to his own miss. Oh, oh charge on Muhammad. Nobody blocking out the shooter. And inside three minutes with a one point lead. Good hedge move and a double team, but Simon breaks it. Ah! Overshot of the Bibby, runs it down, and Turner bumped him. That's his fourth. Funny you'd bring that up. I was with both of them yesterday when Henry asked that question of Coach Wooden at the NABC banquet. Coach said, I believe he's a little better player. <laughs> That's always kind of humbling. No. Turner. Wow. Didn't even play a minute in last year's title game and now penetrates with a big shot with 2.15 remaining. But he's going to have to be careful on defense, Jim, because he's got four fouls and there is a call a away charge. from him. Is it a charge? Yes. On Bibby? Yes. Padgett. So our 19th tie and our 17th lead change. What happened here? Well, he's got, got a, a cut. cut. Padgett has a cut. Teddy Valentine spotted it. Boy, he's got the eyes, doesn't he, to see that? Yeah, well, he is bleeding down on the elbow. He will have to come out of the ball game. Simon in the lane. Puts it back in front. He changes off that catch all the time. Kentucky rushes at him, and he goes right back inside, and now a 20. Padgett on the pick and roll. Step out looking for the jump shot. Never touched anyone from Arizona. And a beautiful move by Rick Pitino. Hey, a mistake has been made. He calms his team down immediately. Times tonight defensively. Kentucky set all-time team steal records this year. Simon's open. Simon with Cricket coming in on him. Oh! oh, oh the cut that is intentional. Man. It's intentional. He'll, He'll shoot two, and Arizona will have possession. This stage is a player. It's one of two. Arizona ball, 70-68, Arizona. Good screening by Arizona. Tough pass, and Epps picked it off. Turner drive. Turner, too strong. Ball on the floor. Bibby comes out with it. And he's fouled and will head to the line for two. Bibby shoots under 70%, but big in the key spots. Now, look, he's staying off that foul line. Just... Four-point lead for Arizona with a minute to play. In the action on a rub. Here he comes. Mercer three. Got it! Down the one. That's execution for you there. The freshman's mind. He starts the dribble at eight. Now drives in. Dishes. Davison backs it home. That was a bad matchup for Kentucky. Kentucky needs a three to tie. Epps fires it. Got it! Game's tied at 74. Here comes Simon and Bibby now. Simon shoots. No call. Padgett with the rebound. Carry with a steal. Not a time. They ruled off the shot. We're going to overtime. And Mr. Packer, you're quite prophetic. Just about two seconds to go. Davison working inside. And McClure wow. hacked him. Davison, who was playing junior college ball a year ago. Best junior college player in America. Hits them both. Epps to Muhammad. Boy, that was a great pass. Epps was stuck for a moment, and he found Muhammad open. Jason Terry. Now, Rick, Rick, Ray wants Rick another says, free throw. I want that free throw back. 0 for 5 tonight from the line. They get 0 6. And a hack, a hack on Mercer. That's his fourth. Harris to give them the three-point edge. So both ends, the teams missed two free throws. Catch it on the drive. Harris inside for Arizona. And look at Terry. He dribbled it right around the Kentucky player. It goes in. Harris trailing. And McGlure got him. Free throws by Davison. Muhammad back. 
Turner out there, they lose their key penetrator. Evans had an open alley. Back of the rim blues, though. And it's going to the other way. It's going to be Terry. That's a foul on Mercer over the back of Terry, who has been all over it with loose balls and rebounds here in the overtime. Then yesterday, the former Arizona player hit the first home run ever out of Turner State. Edmondson Pavilion. All through his high school years. Those were clean. Four, make it a five-point lead if he makes them both. 79-74. And again, it's a lack of fresh legs. Epps, clutch again, brings it to three. A huge pos possession if they can score here. Bibby, Harris, foul. Seems like Harris is living on the line, and you know, he said... He looked at Simon, and Simon said something about the foul shots, and, and I could read his lips. He said, I got him. And also, two for Harris. Oh, yes. Jim Ludolson. <laughs> this is the guy they want shooting at Padgett short. And Simon in the right spot again. Simon wants to get fouled, Jim. He yeah. wants to get fouled. And, and Mercer obliges and fouls out. Ron Mercer's career at Kentucky has come to a close. Yes, Simon wanted to get fouled on that exchange. After this, <laughs> that game was not yet over. All eight points in overtime for Arizona have come from the line. Six-point Arizona lead. And that's why he wanted to be on the line. Epps with a three. Epps with a three. Davison. Davison. And it's stolen by Muhammad. Epps cut it in half. Bibby in the corner. Who touched it last? Kentucky. And Kentucky's got a foul now. Got to go through the fouling parade the rest of the way. A steal by Muhammad. No, he had a foot on the line. Teddy Valentine was right there. Arizona ball to let Arizona take time off the clock with the dribble. Who also going to take a timeout to get himself organized. And foul. Got a foul. Over to Simon and Padgett. Commits it immediately. But if you're Arizona, you've got to feel very comfortable. He's out of fouls also. 17 points. 14 of them coming in the second half. 11 points, 20, 17, 30, 24, and then tonight the big night. with the three and a timeout, 6.4. 84-79, Arizona. Six. Who else but Simon? No foul! No foul! They're not going to foul him. It's only right, the ball's in his hands. A milestone victory for Arizona. Simon says championship.